What's up guys, Cerulean here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make gel materials in Cinema 4D. Um, I failed a couple times making this video, I'm getting kind of frustrated, but uh, I'm going to try to get this out. Um, so anyway, uh, what you want to basically do, uh, you're going to go in the description below and download the material that I'm going to be using. Not the material, but the um, texture I'm using, uh, which is right here. Uh, the only thing you're going to need this for is the bump, and that's it. So just go in here. Go to color, go down to uh, copy channel, then go down, do we'll check bump, and then go into the paste channel. We're going to be messing with these uh, settings in a second um, after I show you guys the rest of the uh, things. So right now, let's just uncheck everything that we're not using. Um, we're going to want specular anyway, but let's just you know go into everything we're not using. So anyway, clear this channel. Um, go up to clear. Then I'm just going to make this white, even though you really don't need to make it white. Go to noise and then go into um, the uh, well these settings. Then go down to uh, where's that electric, and then you want to go to the global scale. Um, you can mess around with 350, anything like that. Um, you can honestly, you know, get away with whatever. Uh, so just mess around with this. I wish it would update, but it doesn't. Actually, let me see something. Um, Okay, well, it doesn't, so that's great. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep this open so you guys can actually see. Um, where is... I think you can mess with some presets in here. Um, you yeah, know, whatever. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, I wish there was a seed option, but obviously not. Uh, so anyway... Um, to make these ridges over here, um, this material doesn't have them, but these little ridges, I don't know if you can tell because there's a glow in them. These ridges right here, it uh, looks like, uh, I guess, I want to say a coral reef, but I'm going to be wrong. Um, but anyway, let's just go back into this. Anyway, uh, to get that, you can basically just take this down to uh, 25. If you're not satisfied there, then you can go down lower to... Um, about 5 through 25. 5 is the one that's on this one. Um, I haven't played with this middle one, so let's just, you know, experiment with that. Um, in this relative scale, put 50 there too. I don't know, let's just see how this turns out. Well, didn't mean to do that. Um, hold on. Actually, I think that's, that's what happened. Anyway, um... So you got this now, you have this type of material. Uh, let's just uh, go down to Object GI. Uh, we might be changing this around. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, this works. Because, I mean, it would be pretty cool to look have something like, look like that. But anyway, um, I don't know why this didn't update. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, uh, go into your displacement, go to uh, noise, About you're going to do about the same thing that you did last time, well, in there. Uh, besides, you're going to not, um, you're not going to mess with this part. So, basically, what you do is just take this up to 650, and right there, you're pretty much done. So, once you hit that up 650, take the displacement down to about 20, and I'd probably say 20, 35, um, so you don't have too much, and also for the people with slower computers, um, don't have to render out, as, like, it would take eight years to render out. So, in the environment, go to, actually, this is where I'm going to have to, okay, All right. Um, I'm not sure what color that, okay, anyway, uh, we're going to go to the environment, and then we're going to go to, uh, where is it at, uh, Fresnel. Or Fresnel, that's what like a lot of people like to say. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure, was blue, something like that. And this one was a mint color, a darker mint color. And I'm pretty sure that's that's, that's right about it. Um, other than the fact that we need some specular and something else, so um, and some glow. So we're going to um, enable the glow now. I'm going to show you how to do the glow real quick. Um, basically, say you wanted this a different color. I'll show you in a second how to do that a different color. But take the, uh, the inner um, strength or whatever. You can actually use material um, color for that. So inner strength could go down to zero. 
Um, actually, sorry, inner strength can go up to 50. Um, sorry about that. Or 20, either one. It doesn't, I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter as of right now because we need to, say you want to change the color. Say you wanted to change to, like, uh, what is it? Like, red, okay? So, red and then orange would be, I mean, a good choice. Um, I mean, not a lot, not a lot of time it's going to work. You would have to also go into here, change it to, like, red or something like that. And, um, you know, just mess, mess around with that. But basically, that's how you create a gel texture or whatever. Um, that's, it's pretty simple. I don't know why people just don't want to, you know, tell you how to make them. This is my favorite one, but uh, I can't remember even how I made this one. Um, I think I just messed around with this. Actually, let me, never mind. I'm not even going to mess with this in the, uh, well, in the thing right now. So anyway... This is that's basically how you make them. Um, I'm sorry if I wasn't very descriptive or anything like that. Um, this it's uh, eight in the morning. I haven't even slept yet, so that's kind of why it was quick and uh, this and that. So um, I'm gonna try to keep pushing out speed art for you guys and stuff like that to watch. I'm gonna be entering a lot of more a lot more contests. And uh, if anything you want else you want to see uh, like wood textures or anything like that, um, just comment below or message me on skype or anything like that any to any idea that you want e even if it's not cinema 4d related sorry for all these cinema 4d um tutorials uh it's obviously a big part of graphic design now it used to not be whenever i first started but anyway so that's about it so see you guys later